and fell down a fucking hit hole. Comb through my fucking ass. Stinks like shit. <laughs>
Everybody, not usually as smooth as of a transition there, but how are you this evening on this fine evening of birds and men and horses? <laughs> My editor sent me that as a joke, and I was like, you know what? I could spice that up. I can make it extra spicy, and I did. Oh, man. What's up, Patrick? I see you're the super chat, Jerry. The intro made my joy hit the ground. The birds loved it, too. <laughs> so I was like, let me change it up a little bit. Let me spice it up a little bit tonight. What the hell? Let's, uh... Oh, where was it? I wanted to talk about... Man, there are so many videos about Phil. It's incredible. Oh, no. Someone was talking about Phil's wife, apparently. Legitimately shook damn near hypnotized for a solid minute with this intro. I need more. Well, my editor has sent me the music as a joke. Cause, like, I said, like, we sent pictures back and forth as jokes. And I, I guess I must have sent him that picture of Phil. Because I have, like, 7,000 pictures of Phil on my phone. Because that's totally normal. Yeah, but you destabilize the rest of the world if there's enough fallout from one of those nuclear power plants, we're still all fucked. Mr. Brendan Schaub wants this canceled now. Oh, please. Fuck him. What a joke. Another fucking one. He's in the same fucking lump as the quartering and, uh... Whatever the fuck... Uh, whatever else I mentioned. They're all the fucking same. Um... Mr. Br so uh, I'd like to dedicate the super chat to Burger King for living in Phil's head. Rent flee, rent, rent flee, rent flee. <laughs> you made a lot of drug trips go sour, Rich. I know I saw a lot of people freaking out. I just went fucking crazy with that intro, man. I just went. I was like, you know what? Let me do something different tonight. You definitely sent pictures of your cucumber to your editor. I said we I send him stupid pictures all day. Like we joke around and just send each other fucking pictures, man. Yeah, like and the thing I always find it funny. All of these motherfuckers, it's the same thing. They're so Tommy Tellerico, the quartering. Um the the fucking reject from uh but Joe Rogan's podcast, the MMA fighter, they're all this. They're all tough guys. All, oh, only only pussies are for cancel culture. And then the first time LAX, what's good? That someone says something they don't like, they are the first ones to pull the cancel cancel trigger. It's just funny. It's incredible. I, I don't know. I, it, it, that's a talent to be that hypocritical, man. It's just amazing. You can't hear. Why the hell can't you hear? My volume is bloody fine there, Chief. He 
he moaned my name? No, I don't. <laughs> he moaned my fucking name? Is Philip Brunel really a man or is Richard Masucci just a bird? The world may never know. I fell down a fucking hit hole. I fell down a fucking hit hole. Oh, man, I got to get a... Hmm. It's time for a new Phil sound. Any chances? Yes, there is a very high chance of a new bird in the future. So let me look up this sound. We got to get a new magical Phil sound here. A magical Phil sound. I meant to get this a few days ago. Here we go. No, that's not it. <laughs> that is absolutely taking place of one of his moans. All right, so. Let me copy a link to the tweet. Twitter. Video. Downloader. This will only take a second, but it's just too good. It's too fucking good, man. Oh, God. Philo, philium, philium. We're going to need that sound for this evening, aren't we? <laughs> oh, Phil. Someone stole $500 worth of oatmeal at work. The incident of May 1st. Is that when he fapped? Was that on May 1st? Is that what? That's actually pretty brilliant if that's what your name means. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I love the internet sometimes. Shout out to the incident. Uh, also, MT's dilemma aside, I would uh, try out she's genuinely an outstanding and super fun gaming if you aren't a diehard car guy. Okay. If, if it's a sim... You know what I would enjoy a sim is if I had like one of those super high end steering wheels. Then I would enjoy a sim, admittedly. All right, so let's uh, make this magical here. Oh, fuck, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Let me, uh, let me wave hammer it. And uh, I'll go to voice. Bring up the volume there a little bit. <laughs> So we'll render it. I just want to wave. I don't care about wave. Just sure. 16 bit stereo. Really? No. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I got to put it in a Dropbox. Stream deck soundboard. Phil, we'll call it Phil Flop. I don't, I don't know what the hell else to call it. <laughs> All right, open up, open folder. I'm almost done. We will get rid of Phil Moan because that moan is kind of played out. And now, and I swear I'm done. Overlap. Where is it? <laughs> the more you layer it, 
Can you get a Dark Souls? Yes, you can get a Dark Souls DSP. Where is the ack, ack, ack? <laughs> oh my god. You know the deal, once we hit 500 people, which will happen relatively soon, we'll start. Uh, Googlefish wants me to know that he is shitting. Thank you for letting me know that you are shitting, Googlefish. Try to relax your anus. <laughs> oh, you're eating ass for me. That's very sweet of you. Thank you for eating ass for me. <laughs> Someone sent that to me because I sent them something about Phil. Oh, man. Let me get some Phil. I got a couple Phil things together. I got stuff before I started the stream. We're going to finish up. Uh... Uh, all right. Phil the Brunel's a man. There we go. Yeah, this is the video I have up. Him and uh, complaining about something. Best fails from Elden Ring. It's only 15 minutes, so maybe it actually is. Some people just literally take, like, all of his streams and, uh, <laughs> they just upload it, man. It's pretty fucking crazy. How many people? Like, just track everything this man does. Would I touch a poop for... T Fuck no. I ain't touching anyone's shit for any amount of money. Apparently this war is costing Russia, a country with not a lot of money, to spend $20 billion a day. That's not sustainable for long. Dude, you don't know what they have in store, man. I'm sure that me much of this was very well thought out. Unfortunately, I think the best case scenario is that they put a pup. He, they don't occupy "quote unquote" Ukraine, but they put a puppet regime in there. Imagine he makes that noise while fapping this. I hope to God not. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, dude, I'm sure he has... I've heard they have money in crypto, and they have... I am sure they have... Not for their people. They could give a fuck if their people starve. They could give a fuck with the... Russia stored with $700 billion in gold and foreign currency. Yeah. And they have a lot of money in U.S. dollars floating around that was laundered by a whole bunch of their fucking wealthy buddies throughout the world, too. Yeah, it's almost a trillion fucking dollars. I mean, twenty billion dollars. If it's twenty million, twenty billion dollars a day, you could still go through that fairly fucking quick. Think about that. That means that in a week you went through one hundred and forty billion dollars. Uh, shout out to my rats. Much better than birds. Oh, I love birds. Birds are beautiful. Uh, I I'm. I mean, I'm not saying that Putin isn't fucking crazy, but he's also not stupid. You know, and I, I think a lot of people, I, I, I just feel, feel like everyone's still underestimating him, man. You know, I get he didn't want NATO at his doorstep, fine, but there was diplomatic ways to handle it. This is starting World War III, starting essentially what could possibly, I should say, lead into World War III w was not the way to, you, you come to the fucking table. Rich, I'm taking my laptop into the shower, don't want to stop watching. That Scott... That is excellent to hear. Your laptop will be perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, he's not stupid. See, that's the thing. Like, everyone's like, oh my God, Trump is going to be the. No, no, Trump's too fucking stupid to be Hitler. <laughs> like, he, try he tried. January 6th was a real thing. I don't... You must have been on a different planet watching... I was watching multiple different streams in real time. I saw what happened on January 6th. He tried with his stupid fucking cronies. It didn't work, though. 
The rumors is that I keep hearing that that he's dying. So he wants to like put it put a name for himself. I've heard that. Phil said Tevin view bought it when he had so he view bought it. Phil or view bought it himself, like he was trying to bring in more viewers for himself. Phil, let's just keep it real. Um, you notice that most people there uh, who do videos about you, not saying mine, I'm just saying in general though, usually get more viewership whether it be streams or actual videos and yours do Phil oh man when does war ever go exactly to plan he's not gonna he's not gonna let on that it didn't you know what I mean he's not gonna say oh everything's I've heard rumors that he has Parkinson's. I've heard rumors that uh, I've heard so. It's all rumor, dude. It's the fog of war. You know what I mean? You have no idea. Are you high? Your eyes look no. I'm cold. It's cold and fog. My kids were here last night. They're actually supposed to be here the entire weekend, but my son ended up being sick. You know, so I'm running on like three hours of decent sleep. <laughs> so it's not that I'm, I've had a little bit of THC. Why aren't I high? I'm high. I am high. I assure you I am, but I'm not like out of my mind. But I've heard that though, like he has Parkinson's, maybe some people were saying, or he has, I don't know. I've read that it, uh, Isaac Wolf. I've read that it's not going according to plan. The propaganda is going to say that it's going according to plan. TSP is truly an alpha male. Try to relax your anus. Try to relax your anus. I actually have the Evercade VS sitting here next to me. I don't know if tonight I'll do anything. I did set it up here, but uh, I know it's working. The capture card is seeing it. Tomorrow, you may not be seeing videos to me. However, what I will be working on is the Wii U voiceovers, the scripts that my editor wrote for the, the games. I, I played them and I wrote notes for him and I'm having, I'm putting my, like he wrote like the stats for the games and then I'm going to write my take about the games. Or I'm going to do a little like one sentence voiceover if the game sucks or not. Spoiler alert, most of the launch games, especially from Activision. And Ubisoft do. Um, so that should be, that's going to be a long day tomorrow, but it'll still be good though. I, I love doing this kind of stuff, man. I'm very, I'm, I'm very excited for this video to finally come out. Well, that's basically what, there's been some fairly big stuff. I mean, a couple, one of the two, one of the two stories is doing pretty decent today. The other one, but, I just want to put out evergreen content, man. I'm kind of coming to a different phase. I want to live stream. I want to put out evergreen content. And it's not that news is going away. Like, my editor's like, man, if you stop doing news, it'll kill your channel. I'm like, I'm not stopping doing the news. I'm not. But uh, if there's four days of... Like, I look at some of the... Like, I look even, like, at, like, mainstream news. I'm not even talking YouTubers. I'm talking, like, IGN and stuff. And they put up these articles. I'm like, you are literally just putting them up because you have to put something out to keep people to keep revenue flowing. And that sucks. I rather I rather have revenue flow from projects that I love and put time into that have legs for years than just chasing another news story. I, I'm just kinda eh. Now again, if there's actual true huge news, it's different. You know. Evergreen rich, evergreen man, evergreen nipples. I wish this dude would stop burping into the mic. I have some bad news for you. You are going to have to find a new stream. Move, 
So now it's fill time. We are about 500 people. This is pretty average, normal viewership for a stream. How when when it, people start coming in, where is why is the screen capture not coming on? Oh, I know why. There it is. Phil is a man. <laughs> DSP. People still say DSP tries it like 10 years later. That's two partners you lost. Your partner died. Ah, 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 Dude, that is the best dead scene ever. No. Ah, that is the best dead. DSP tries it. You can get a kung fu my fucking ass. Now my ass is in her body. I fell down a fucking hit hole. Watch your balls. Damn, I gave you a lot of sounds. <laughs> Hold on. Like, you can't start off like that. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. No. No. This is going too fast for me. Who made this video? Vault Boy, this is going from zero to a hundred. <laughs> very, 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 Thanks for the money. <laughs> Yo, the amount of effort that people put into these videos is incredible. Why am I toxic? Stop supporting. All right, guys, welcome back to. I guess we got to watch some low tier God skirt streams. A second dose of Elden Ring for my premiere day coverage. You know one thing that I did not try earlier today? Elden Ring, which I bought and haven't played yet and probably going to return it. It's another Dark Souls game straight up. It looks exactly like one. Okay, I did not try the this special attack 4. with this sword. So let's try it. L2. It, fuck this. I give up. I completely give up. I, I'm not going to care about this. I guess I'm never getting the item because it doesn't seem like it's obtainable, right? It really doesn't. not obtainable for me. All right, fuck this. How did a horse just come out of that guy's ass? My, the map doesn't open? The map doesn't open when you're on the horse. What the heck? I didn't know that. DHE, I think he meant he almost rage quits. <laughs> well, I'm gonna ride around the outskirts to see if there's any items and stuff, and then I'm gonna head back to where I was and fight those enemies. <clears throat> What's with the mixture of music, though? <laughs> really? <laughs> can you feel the tension in the air right now? I know I can. All right, so I'm back from a break, and I'm looking around, and I see down here that there's a hidden cave in the cliffside. The question is, do I want to risk trying to get down there, right? Hey, put on the Donkey Kong music. And what would be? I fell down a fucking head. I've done oh. a super chat saying, looking forward to the playthrough. I've seen most of them on Outsiders Chan the Outsiders channel, but I believe all the from software games. That no, Phil, your brain has input. You are a great content creator. I fell down a fucking hit hole. I'm sorry, I felt that lag. I kind of know what he's talking about. You could argue that it's inherent to the game design. Fine, touche. But yeah, the Outsider is infamously someone who, over the years, has done. This is how you don't play montages of my FromSoft uh, gameplay. The only reason I know that is because I I just come across them on YouTube sometimes. Thank you, it'll knowledge. Be like related videos, or it'll be like show up in search. I'm like, oh yeah, here it is again. This is how you don't play. This is how you don't play. He must do a good job. Because I believe the outsider is actually the person who does the stars aligned. 
and basically it was a week where like my wife and I could actually go out and do some stuff together which we haven't done in a while but it was just a week where like she needed to get some stuff while we were out and we were we had an appointment we had to go to actually in the afternoon as well so it was just like we got to go I wonder if Phil like has a kink where he just walks around his house with like a grape leaf on his like on his like twig and berries and one more for his butthole is and he just walks around like his wife is like freaked out like he's like trying to feed her grapes and be kinky and she's just running away and you just and you just see fucking Phil chasing around the house with two grape leaves like on his front and back and he's just going <laughs> I'm sure he is, man. You grind in a game like that, you get good. Go out and do stuff for the. <laughs> man. My state has no mask mandate in the stores, though. Yet some Karen came in the store complaining people without masks to the clerk. Well, yeah, you can't complain. Like, just wear your fucking mask. See, that's where I'm not. That's where I'm not like that, dude. As, as a person who's pro pro vaccine and pro mask, your store doesn't have a policy for it. If I want to go wear a mask, I'll wear a mask. You ain't wearing a one, and you're not in your. And it doesn't matter. There's no policy for it. Who the fuck cares? Shut up. Uh, yeah, literally. Try to relax your anus. Try to relax try your anus. Try, 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 try to relax your anus. You are one pathetic loser. <laughs> Gotta go out and do stuff for the first time. It's not like we stayed home and I went out and did errands. We actually did some fun stuff out together. Um, so, it was great, except for the fact that we had torrential downpours, the heaviest precipitation we've had in, in, like, a long time, and it caused tons of flooding around here. So, it I wasn't fell the down worst. A fucking hit. Wait, the <clears throat> what is all that fucking noise? Super annoying. Phil, you make me angry, Phil! Could've just grabbed one of these, Phil! Smithing stones. Bye. Oh, it's this piece of shit. It's a bug. Ew. Ew. Bug just kicked your fucking ass, dude. It's a creepy crawly bug mage with 700 arms. You little fucker. That's disgusting. Yuck. Spread your cheeks and just go to town. That actually worked pretty good right there. <laughs> I didn't read it. Pretty... Ah! I survived. No, I didn't. Ah! Well, he says like all of his O's with like an A-H, like toxic. It's not toxic. It's toxic. That's like a thing with Phil. I got Phil knows something. It. I couldn't read what it said because I had to mash it so fast to get the fuck out of there, but I got the item. <clears throat> Jeesh. <laughs> I mean, the thing with uh, Elden Ring with the guy. Jesus, seven hours Tevin streamed? Yo, dude, seven hours? <laughs> DSP continues to get cold trolled by... What is this one? Dad. Oh! Almost a strike. I wonder if you get it. I told you, if you get a strike, I bet you get something for it. Watch your balls. Oh. oh, man. Come on, how do we get the strike? You got me technique to it. Way too hey, left. Three strikes in a row. Oh, I did it! It's a turkey. I got a strike, but it didn't count for nothing. Oh, maybe I maybe all you were supposed to do is get the item there. Oh, okay. Well, I hope thing, I hope things pick up once the hardcore gaming season gets in this. It doesn't, dude. It, it's not about. They can't be like I can't be relying on the news. Why do you think I'm doing different kind of shit too? You know, you gotta diversify. 
All right. So if, if, do you think that like people care about other people go for the I think it was Sonny V2 that was saying it. People don't care what you're playing. They I mean, yeah, it helps. It helps. There, There's a mixture of it. But I would say 80 percent of it is the person and 20 percent of it is whatever the fuck they're playing or watching, you know. I guess that's that. How did, uh, when was the last time uh, I saved? Uh, oh, God. Two minutes ago? I need to have it saved again to save that I got that collector or that, uh, scavenger item. So maybe if I go back into the hallway, it'll save. Let's see. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> How do, I, how do I get it to save? Combine your cards with a from the auto Scanning. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I did. Uh, um, Until next time, which is later on this week, okay? Awesome. Thank you. Is this where he has a... All right, everybody. Well, it is what it is. I, uh, I enjoyed tonight's stream, and I hope that you guys did too. All right? Thank you to everyone who did. He is about... I could tell he's about to lecture. The lecture is about to come that he, that he did not get enough support. Contribute. Actually, Super Chats were pretty decent. We had made like 50 bucks of Super Chats tonight, which isn't bad at all. Thanks to those who did become members. We did have a few new members tonight. Thank you to those who did tip. Tips were pretty low. I'm not going to lie, but it is what it is. All right. And thank you for a great streaming week. I did have a good streaming week this week. You don't say that. You don't say that. We finished up Fallout earlier, which was outstanding. Um. So here's the deal. I'm not here tomorrow, all right? Hope you all have a good day tomorrow, and I hope that you're safe, and I hope that you have an enjoyable day away from my streams. I will return <clears throat> on Wednesday. And on Wednesday, it will be the conclusion of the Ghost of Super... I find it interesting that he doesn't even show the Super Chat amount. I know why he doesn't, because he wants to incentivize people to do tips only. Should be DLC paired with Hades, all right? There'll be more Psychonauts 2 on Thursday, and that'll also be paired with Hades. Friday, I'm actually going to be playing a new game called Tortured Souls, or, excuse me, Tormented Souls, um, which is a throwback survival horror yes. game. Yes, of course you can. I gotta find the... <laughs> Try to relax your anus. Watch your balls. <laughs> I'll be playing Friday during the day. Friday night will be Street Fighter. All right. Is that the one? <laughs> I think so. With compression, that may be the. Sadly, your shoulders. Guys, we didn't hit the goal, man. I don't know what to tell you. Here we go. It's like he's like it's like he's a varsity coach for like a basketball team, and they 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 lost the game. Like, bro, <laughs> you're you're like giving your fucking the people viewing you a pep talk. It is not their problem, Phil. I just I'll never get over this. I know, I know, I just can't. It sucks. But the thing that he's not showing is how many super chats did he get? From what I hear, he does okay with the super chats. $21 in tips alone. Yeah, if that's all he got, that would suck. What did he get in super chats? We definitely could have done it today. We could have hit two. Damn it, we could have done it, team. We could have hit the goal today, but you disappointed me. You should have stared at me longer and supported me with more money while I was playing a video game. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. 50 today. I don't know why people wouldn't become members. I don't know what to tell you. People are telling me, oh, well, the problem is on YouTube, uh, you know, you can't bring your emotes to other channels and stuff. Okay. I should show a membership's goal, but the problem is, is that it doesn't automatically fucking update. I've talked to someone, and I'm like, I'm not going to every time someone becomes a member. Not that it happens often that people become a member, but people would probably become members more, especially if membership starting being gifted, which I hear is going to happen on YouTube. I might do that, but I, who gives a fuck about chat or like super chat goals, man? If people are here and they're supporting it, great. If I need to make more money, I just stream longer. I just don't say shit. Hey, that's great and all, but I can't do that. 
Yeah, it's only tips. It's only tips. And he'll say, too, that's why he only – I guarantee you, this isn't even – This is. I know uh, technically it is speculation, but I guarantee it, is that he – gets the money instantly like if so and i it, it's true but it shouldn't matter is my point yeah like yeah if someone goes to stream labs here and supports me it's right into my paypal you know but i don't care whatever you want to do but i mean like i i i don't create how this stuff works on youtube all right the point is that if you want to support the channel, right? If you want to support the channel, you become a member to help out so we can do a fun marriage. Phil, you have to change the content, Phil. It's the same thing for me, man. Gaming news, and it's I see it with other YouTube channels, not just mine. It, it's not the same anymore, man. It, it's it's there are two that that pie is split the, to razor thin. The YouTube gaming news pie. You can look through that shit. It's as clear as an OLED screen on a Switch. So you got to diversify. Do different shit. Do some... KO Gaming was going good for you way back in the day, Phil. And I could say the same for me. I'll hold myself accountable. The pod, That's why we're doing the podcast fucking thing again. Not make, making any official, like, when things are set to go, I'll make something official, but it, it's up to you. You got to do it, man. Wagging your finger at your audience ain't going to do nothing. Am I going to wag my finger at my audience because my gaming news doesn't get the same views as it used to? Mostly. It depends. It depends on YouTube's mood that day. But, no. It's a flooded market. People are fucking sick of seeing the same three stories and... 200 of their subscribers feeds i know because i see it'll be me talking about it and I'd pick any other news person talking about it and it's like all right i only need to see this story fucking once and a take from somebody once so what do you do you just try something new i'm gonna be posing a dude with birds and selling calendars actually But I see it, man. I, I see that the tide the tides are changing and you have to adapt and evolve. You know? Yeah, or be stuck back in like twenty got crap gamer puts puts up content like it's still twenty twelve. <laughs> uh, you know. Hey, oh no, I burped again. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's what you gotta do, you know? I'm gonna be laying down voiceovers all day tomorrow. And I'm not saying do what I'm doing, Phil. It's not, I, I don't I can't picture you reviewing a Wii U and doing the shit I'm doing. It's not your personality. But find something different. Add something to your con not find something different like quit YouTube. I know you're not you're not quitting. I'm not telling you to. You know? Yeah, improvise, adapt, overcome. Like, if you think I was still posting videos like I was back in, like, 2014, and that was still my... Dude, my channel would be dead. I'm not even talking subs. I mean, I still make enough of a viewership to make a living, which says something, because I've also adapted, but now I need to adapt more. You know? Outright Games is now a part of Playtune Studio. Who is Outright Games? Just got here. My sandwiches are ready. What kind of sandwiches? They have meat in the... Do the sandwiches have any kind of bird in them? I wonder what would happen if Phil met Stuart Chaffe from Computer... Not sure why I was thinking about... <laughs> and this is the Computer Chronicles. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the, f the fuck is he doing next to me? Have you seen the Pokemon Sun and Moon? It's filled with race. From who? From Phil? No, he didn't go racist to get. When was that? Marathon on Saturday. It wasn't about, oh, I have to get some kind of particular benefit from becoming the membership that I, I used to get on Twitch. I don't get it here. That wasn't the point. You know what I'm saying? Also, the memberships here are cheaper, too. So, I don't know, man. I Phil.
and, and I'm saying this to me too, because I'm not, I, and I genuinely mean it. I'm not trying to sound holier than thou, holier than thou. Excuse me. My live stream audience doesn't owe me a view, and my YouTube, my main YouTube audience doesn't owe me a view. They don't owe me a sub too. If me, if me streaming what I streamed on January sixth, that was a choice I made. That as soon as that day happened, my sub was my sub growth went flat. That can't be a coincidence. But that was a that was a choice I made. Some would think that was stupid, and I would probably argue that was true. My point being is that no one owes us a fucking thing. They don't owe me a view on my main YouTube channel. They don't owe me a super chat here. They don't owe me viewership here. It's up to us to make content that they want to watch. That's why I'm trying to do different things. I should have probably done these things four years ago, but I'm a fucking asshole. You know? Search DSP Clean Beach for Justice. After this, yes, I will. I was working last night. Absolutely, I will. I was working last night cleaning up from a bingo party. Weird thing is I found condoms and... Whoa, juicy lust. What the fuck are you talking about, Dynamic Kirby? I think he condoms and... I, I don't know. I, what I'm hoping, like I told you guys... Well, Zen must thank you, but that's the, that's what the, yeah, I appreciate it. But it, it's kind of like on you got to adapt and evolve, man. Lube, lube. I was like, I got the condoms, but the lube. Okay, condoms, lube. Someone was someone was busting all kinds of nuts. Bust your balls. Well, bust your nuts too. But that's what you got to do, Phil. Like, and I'm not saying this to be like, oh, I'm so gracious. But this is a business. You have to have a product that people want. I'm seeing that because it's extremely flooded that people don't want the news as much. There'll always be a piece of me that does news. So that's why I called it semi-retiring. Because there's always going to be reasons. That when there's big stories, there's shit, there's shit to talk about. But I see the market changing. I see that the, mark, the, the kind of content I do is extremely flooded. And now I have to do something that's unique. That's my own spin on it. That's what you have to do, Phil. Not guilt people into thinking, oh, we didn't hit the goal, man. That's it. Who cares? That's on you. It's on me if I don't hit the chat revenue. It's on me if I don't hit the views on my channel. It ain't on my audience. My audience don't owe me a fucking thing. They don't like the content I make, and they have every right to go somewhere else and watch it. You have to offer a product that'll bring their eyes on you instead of someone else, not the other way around. As a bunch, is that once new games start to come out, that we will convince more people to become members? Because it seems like right now we're basically stagnating. You know, we're at round between two, 200 to 250, and we're just kind of sitting here for two months. Who cares? And it's Don't not buy moving. The game. And, you know, that sucks because, as you guys know, I am trying to get back to where I was. Uh, on Twitch, and it seems like it's not possible, but it seems like it's because of the limitations of YouTube. What is he not doing? Not me. I'm doing the same stuff. You guys are telling me that the streams are entertaining and fun, but you're telling me that you're not getting the same benefits you used to get when you used to subscribe on Twitch. I understand that. Phil, it, it's also nonsensical, dude. There's times where I have a thousand people watching, and I make less revenue on nights that I have 300 people watching. Why that is, I don't know. Maybe because people feel like I could pay attention to more of the chat and the super chat. And maybe that's why it brings in more donations. I don't know. But you just roll with it, man. Don't complain about it. Where's the Wii U video? Dude, that's what there there is. So, it's like. My editor has 70% of the raw footage. I have to do the voiceovers for each of the games tomorrow. Um, I had to order him a copy of Skylanders Giants. Uh, he needs to film B-roll of his Wii U. Um, and yeah, whenever, however long it takes him, I'd rather it be done right than rushed. Uh. 
Uh, I was working. Oh, so I, hey, Rich, my twin girls were born at 32 weeks, and I'm the EQ for the foreseeable future. I just want you to know your streams are a lifesaver, B dubs. I wish them the best. I know what it's like to have kids not feeling well. And congratulations on the two twin girls, too. They'll be okay. Wishing you the best. Oh, no, and I burped again. God damn it. Yeah, what's with this zoom in? Oh, yeah, what was that one I that... I don't control that. You know, I wish I could. I wish I could give you guys a bunch of extra benefit. I don't make the site. Why? You know what I'm Why? saying? What are so... we doing? Is he zooming in on his head? I I'm not sure what else to do, you know? Hopefully. Sure. He's getting Grandpa excited. Spread your cheeks and just go to town. You can just mix them and match them. It's just a good time. What will happen is what's up, these David Chapman? Start coming out, more people will come to the streams to support. I don't know what else to do. I, I, you know, I didn't want to leave Twitch. I didn't want to be kicked out of the partner program and not be able to get subs anymore. Guys, that's the inevitability we're in now. You know what I'm saying? Like. You're trying to, oh, I don't get the benefits here that I did on Twitch. That's great, but do you still like my content? Do you still like my streams? It's so soul crushing. It just. Oh, Phil. You like it when I play games and interact with you guys? Okay, then remember, I understand you're not getting the same benefits over there. I can't do anything about that. I don't pose you to, you know what I mean? And I understand, oh, well, I get better value on Twitch. <laughs> Because that's what I'm saying, like, if you were 900 members on Twitch, there's only 220-some, 230 members here, right? Oh, well, I don't get the same benefit that I got over there. Okay. Imagine if I streamed and complained about... Dude, it's just the numbers fluctuate, dude. Like I said to you, it, like, you could have... It's literally happens to me where you have, like, 2,000 people watching what you're doing and you get no super chats and you have fucking... 400 people watching and it's like you made more in 30 minutes and you made an entire night before there's no rhyme or reason to it but you sitting here with your goatee is not helping the situation but i still need the support to keep going you understand i understand oh there i was go. actually getting uh the, the emotes or whatever on other channels okay great that's not on youtube and i'm sorry i wish i could make youtube do the same stuff that twitch did youtube is very different from twitch we know that okay twitch mistreated me cucumbers twitch did something to discipline me when i never did anything wrong presented no that's funny you say that cnj that's funny you say that no evidence that i did that thing wrong so why are we going to cry over spilled milk at Twitch and say, oh, no, we lost the ability to do this on Twitch? If you like me and my content, support it, okay? Support it. A membership is $4. It's cheaper here than it was over on Twitch, okay? And yeah, to be told Yeah, that's literally like, oh, just Joe 2020 said it. This is fun, chill, guilt tripping. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, that's not our fault. There's like, dude, you, ha this is our job. It is, there. there is no job that the audience, there's no job that my mods have. I may always make that abundantly clear. Like, if you want to and someone's spamming, you have the ability to stop them or if they're putting a fucking, someone's address up, you have the ability to stop them if you want. You don't even have to do that. Like, they owe nothing. It is your job to make content that people want to watch. It is my job to make content that people want to... You have to change and adapt. It is no one else's responsibility, Phil. No one owes you a penny out of their pocket. No one owes me a penny out of their pocket. If a video does not perform well, I have to figure out what I need to change. And the same with you. Oh, we don't get the same benefits. Okay, I get that, but that's not the point of Phil the membership. That, I'm we just, serious, again. Like, that was never the point. The point was to support the channel, to let me keep just... doing what I love. You guys tell me you love it, and you know what I mean? But, You're but getting grandpa excited. You know? I'll be honest, an entire month with no membership growth is terrible. Just being honest, it is. That's a bad sign. 
Now, this month, I knew things would be slow, because there was almost no new releases. Games like Psychonauts 2 in 12 minutes is not going to bring people to come see those. Take a look at what happened just a few months ago with a big release like Resident Evil, where the views were sky high. Just last night, I played, or was it two nights ago? Two nights ago, I played the Call of Duty Vanguard beta, or excuse me, alpha, and the views were really good. Uh. So it really is game dependent. I know that. It really is game dependent. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think they zoom him like this that. so it... I know that copyrights, be maybe? In my stuff when better games and more high profile games are coming uh, out. But when I've got, you know, right now I got over 300 people on the stream, right? Why do we, there's only 230 members. We seriously, seven more people couldn't have become a member tonight. I mean, but what will happen is now people will try to hold this. Is KO Gaming still a thing? Let's go watch one of his reviews. KO Gaming. Ah, it is still a thing. The worst game I've ever played. Five years ago. Welcome to KO Gaming is channel trailer. Yes. Hello and welcome to KO Gaming. Deli Uh are in gaming's greatest hits. Here you'll find montages of the latest video game releases, countdowns of games from both the modern day and yesteryear, as well as... He sounds like a freshman college student going to, studio, going to school for radio and he has no idea what he's doing. Detailed game reviews called The Hateful Truth, by which you can judge whether or not you should put down your hard-earned money to buy a new game release. In addition, the Hits of the Week series will feature the best and worst of all the games that I've played over the course of the past seven days. If you'd like to see some raw, unedited gameplay footage, you can check out my older gaming channel, DSP Gaming, or for some... I love how him and, uh, like, um, Crap Gamer make it <laughs> that raw, unedited gameplay is, like, some feature. <laughs> it just means you didn't want to edit, bro. Just be, keep it real. Like... Like, like, I get it, man. Editing's tough. It's a lot. It, it, it's time consuming. You don't want to do it. It's cool. It's okay. Vlogging content for multiple different subjects? Check out the King of Hate vlogs. Thanks a lot for checking out KO Gaming, and I hope you enjoy your stay. I'm enjoying it, Phil. I am enjoying my stay. I am relaxed. All right, so let's see. Let's see his top review. Let's go to home. I think his top reviewed. Where the fuck is it? Poppy, the worst game I ever played. So let's see a full review from Phil. I already just hear a fan in it. I already hear a fan in like a webcam. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Darkseid Phil. I've been on YouTube for the greater part of eight years, covering pretty much every major release that I could, ranging from console games that are huge AAA releases to small indie titles, the occasional PC release here and there, hell, even some handheld games. And in all the time that I've made videos, over 50... <laughs> Welcome to KO Gaming. He sounds like he's like going to try to be an announcer for Street Fighter. 3,000 videos for YouTube. Today, unfortunately, is the very first day. Is he actually like giving his credentials first? Like Tommy Tellerico? Yes, he is. That I have to tell you, I have played the worst game I have ever played in my life. And I just want to let you know, I don't take that statement lightly. I really pride myself on giving you honest feedback, commentary, and reviews regarding the games that I play on YouTube. Why do people always have to say they're being honest? I never understand that. That makes me think you're not being honest. Because I like to think that my videos are a service to people who are going to watch them, see if they like the game that I'm playing, and then go out and buy it for themselves or subscribe. We are now a minute into this review, and he has said nothing about this game except this is the worst game he's ever played. <laughs> we have, he has told us everything. Uh, 
Philip Philip Burnell Tellerico has told us everything about himself, and we have known nothing about this game so far. Secretly, skip the game if it's something that's not their cup of tea. Today, we're going to be talking about Homefront: The Revolution, a game that was stuck in development hell for five years, a game that was supposed to be the sequel to a 2011 release for a game studio that no longer exists. <sighs> Let's get started. Way back in 2011, a little game called Homefront was released. Now, admittedly, this game was not even a blip on many. <laughs> My brutal. Keep dreaming. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Dreamcast guy here. Keep dreaming. Many people's radar. I had the chance to actually check it out and found it surprisingly different from your standard first person shooter, at least when it came to a few aspects of the story. The story featured a what if scenario. What if America had been purchasing technology from North Korea for years? What if America had become completely Keisha made my holes quiver. Keep dreaming. Imagine Dreamcast guy had a uh, like a, a day of diarrhea and he just kept on saying, "Keep shitting." No, nobody just okay, just me. All right. Okay. Let's not go into that. Dependent upon te technology from North Korea, including not just electronics, but also military grades, such as helicopters, tanks, and weapons. You know, he's sitting there, like, when Phil's doing the voiceover, which isn't horrible, I may say. Um, he's, You know, he's and like... And what if North Korea and the United States had a falling out, and there was a back door into all of that technology, which would completely lower all of America's defenses, leading to an invasion of the West Coast by North Korean military forces. What a premise, and what a weird way to start a first-person shooter. I remember watching the intro cutscenes of this game and gasping at some of the really gruesome things that happened. Yeah, I think he was still fucking recording with a... And it really just ended up being pretty... Or wait, is that the first? No, that's the first game, and he's using footage from. Unique. Now, overall, the his... gameplay of the game wasn't anything to really write home about. It was kind of just run and gun fair, comparable to Call of Duty. But at least the story gave this game a unique identity. And so, at that time, publisher THQ decided that they wanted to make a sequel. Unfortunately, THQ ended up declaring bankruptcy and subsequently going. What did THQ do? THQ. <laughs> Unfortunately, THQ ended up declaring bankruptcy. <sighs> they wanted to make a sequel. Unfortunately, THQ ended up declaring bankruptcy and. <laughs> I didn't see his countdown list, Sergeant Jason Bond. I did not see that. I'm craving Sonic right now. I've had Sonic once in my life, and I thought it was very mediocre. I never had their shakes either. His commentary, you know, it isn't that bad. Don't know why he didn't stick. Because, yeah, I don't, I think it's a Gundam set. It's too, like, motherfucker, what did this review get to? And this is when he, it got 1.1 million now, according to It's a Gundam, I have to say according because I don't follow as much as for some reason I'm always streaming about Phil because there's so much comedic gold there. I, I don't stalk Phil, so I don't know his life. But according to It's a Gundam, and It's a Gundam doesn't stalk Phil either. It's just all internet lore that's out there. Like, he made this review. It got He's just kind of started this channel, which I think this is, it's true. He just made this review. It got, 1 .1, it got a shit ton of views. I don't know if it was at 1.1 back then. And then he goes on vacation. You don't go on vacation when that happens, Phil. So secretly going out of business. Oh, I forgot I had it on. Slow motion. 
My apologies. And they're selling off all of its game franchises to the highest bidder. Homefront ended up dreaming. being bought by Crytek, the same company that made Crisis, and then subsequently fell to a game developer named Deep Silver, who then contracted a new game studio to actually make this newer installment called Homefront The Revolution. So it's been five long years that we've been waiting for this game to come out, and everyone's been wondering, what is it going to be? Is it going to be similar? Is it going to be different? We kept hearing rumblings from the game studio and from Deep Silver. He could have compressed everything he's talked about into like a minute. That the game got delayed twice. First originally supposed to be released in 2015, then being pushed to early 2016, and then finally being delayed until today, May 17th, 2016. And finally we were able to get our hands on it. <sighs> the wait was not worth it. This game is one of the most uninspired, tired, repetitive, boring, unfun, buggy... I, I, I could keep going on and on with the adjectives all day long. First of all, before I even start, I want to let you know I played the game on PlayStation 4, and I've actually heard that the people who reviewed this game all got PC codes for it, and apparently the game doesn't have as many graphical issues as it does on the PlayStation 4. I'm just reviewing the... Can't bear to listen to Copy that voice. I purchased for a full $60 retail price. I just want to make that clear up front. This is a full fledged release that cost. Yeah, you know what I think? Yeah, I can't sit through this anymore. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see if there's anything else that pops up. Or maybe what I should do is flip over to a different stream. Let's see what's going on with live news real quick. If there's something interesting to... No, I won't do ABC. Fuck ABC. India today. Can I watch that if I can? Yeah. All right, yeah, we'll end this stream. We had enough. I had enough of Phil this evening. Um, be back in a couple minutes, and we will do a talking about what's going on in Ukraine and everything like that. Let's continue to react to gaming. Um, so I'll be back in like ten minutes.